exciting episode of Pens in Use. Now this week it's really going to be exciting because I'm going to do something in this video that no other fountain pen reviewer has ever done. But I'll hold off on that for a little bit. But it's going to be structured all kinds of different today because it's going to be half chatty, half uh, pensy. <laughs> so uh, first thing, I've, I've been in Bismarck uh, last two weeks. Uh, I was home on the weekend between those two weeks, but I was super sick then, so no pens and use, no driving, no nothing got filmed. And I laid on the couch over there, and that was pretty much my weekend. Um, so I got some neat toys. I'll talk about one of them towards the end of the video, but uh, this, this was one of them. Yes, I got seven Barbies, actually. Uh, one of the uh, labs that I will be doing with my students next year is we're going to take Barbie bungee jumping off the the... Hmm. I want to call it a ledge, but ledge doesn't work. Balcony, there we go, in the gym. So, uh, all kinds of math involved in that. So, I actually got a whole big box of toys, but I've taken them all to school uh, so they can be used there. Uh, in, in other exciting news, I, uh, on my way home from Bismarck, I stopped in Dickinson to do some grocery shopping because I live in a small rural town. So, I mean, not that our selection of grocery stores is bad anymore, it's actually pretty good. Uh, there's, you can just get more, especially fresh fruit and vegetables in Dickinson, so uh, that was my plan. And went to the register to pay and declined my debit card. <laughs> and I, you know, that's humiliating. And luckily I had the cash in my wallet to cover it, but I just thought, how could you be that stupid in July to run out of money? Um, and I was so panicked and so embarrassed, I didn't even think to check on it at an ATM machine. So I was kicking myself the whole way home, saying, stupid, 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 and all that. Well, I got home, um, stopped at the post office first, and uh, I think I told you, and I will discuss this here in a bit, but, oh, they, uh, we seem to have a freeze here on this camera. Let's uh, restart this camera. So anyway, I stopped at the post office, and this had arrived. And I just thought, oh my god, maybe that's why. I had uh, planned on this purchase all spring, and uh, finally done it. And so I just felt sick about it. <laughs> Got home, checked my bank balance on my computer, and you know what? I don't know why I declined my card. The money is there. Um, so... I felt a lot better about this pen, so of course the next thing I had to do was ink it up. Sorry, I'm uh, drinking coffee out of my mug coffee cup thing, and I'm not using the handle. There, how's that? Can't, neither of these cameras seem to be enjoying the heat. Wow. <laughs> but anyway, let me talk about this pen. And pull this a little closer to me so this isn't so awkward. All right, so I will uncover, that was my magnifier, platinum. Let's look at the other side. Yes, I got one. I bought one that has the t size C nib, which is a double broad. We'll open up this outer case. And you have a nice plain white case inside. We'll open that up. It says platinum. And then you have a whole bunch of doohickeys, and oh my gosh, where's the pen? Well, <laughs> you know where the pen is. I already inked it up. So I got a cartridge. I don't typically use cartridges, so I may not have a use for that. There's a warranty thingy that was on the clip. User's manual, helpfully written in Japanese. No, that's Thai, isn't it? That's not Japanese. Or, no, that's Japanese, sorry. I don't know why I thought that was Thai. But they also have a helpful French section too. Huh. I'm, I'm putting off the exciting part of this. Um, that looks more like Chinese than Japanese to me. And I'm sure there's an English part. Clearly I wasn't looking for it. There we go. Okay, so now, one more thing inside this box that's kind of neat. Several of my pen pals are, oh, come on. Awkward. 
several of my pen pals will benefit from this, is uh, this is the mountain that supposedly inspired the pen. And then you just, you get some photographs of the mountain. This is actually in English, some photographs of the pen. And then a whole bunch of little pieces of note paper, which is supposed to be nice note paper. So that'll be kind of fun. Some of my, uh, when I was so sick, I had some pen pal letters to mail that I hadn't mailed the week before, and they just didn't get mailed. And, uh, oh, did, well, I'll put everything back later. I've got a video to do, to film. Oops. Anyway, I, uh, didn't mail a whole bunch of letters, so that didn't happen. So let's take a look here. Let's dial up the brightness. I, I should lay a piece of white paper down, but we'll live. All right. So, uh, yeah, the, the, the pen is, uh, what, what's supposed to make it special are these lines that are supposed to be kind of like the rays of the sun coming up over Mount Fuji. Uh, the 3776 line, of course, is the height of Mount Fuji. Uh, sandblasted ends, finials, I guess is the word. The uh, When I review it for real, I'll figure out how to show it to you. The, the, wa the nut in here is supposed to be like a special nut thing. Um, holy cow, am I angry at this iPad? <laughs> Uh, sometimes I have a lot of trouble with uh, that camera and this this uh, iPad, and today is one of them. <laughs> I don't know why. And then the raised words. It's cartridge converter. Uh, I like the nib. It's very broad. You might be saying, well, what's the difference other than those stupid lines and sandblast between that and the regular? Well, okay, I overpaid. I mean, I no rational reason to buy the pen. But this is the regular 3776. So you can see it's, although it's the same kind of color, it's a lot more translucent. Um, and rhodium plated finishings instead of gold. Uh, this is a soft fine nib, which by the way, they are making available on this pen, but since I already had one, I was torn between do I want the double broad or do I want to have the, 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 ah! the regular fine so I went with the double broad so let's see what's in use this week now that my secrets out by the way it's Saturday now as I film this I uh, have well my town does it's called a, it's a called Summerfest it's like a three-on-three -three basketball tournament I should be down there taking pictures right now I'll get there um, I actually have a second pen waiting in the post office. I would have had to sign for it, and of course they're not open uh, Friday evening, and uh, I actually missed them just barely. Uh, they don't open on Saturday until 12.45, and right now it's 11.15, so I figure after I film this video, I will walk down, photograph the three-on-three. -three. We have a car show going on. There's a like, street fair thing going on. I'll photograph all of that, and... Get something to eat, because <laughs> I have money, as it turns out, because my debit card isn't empty, because I am as good at budgeting as I think I am. It's never enough money in there, but, you know, that's an emotional thing. But, uh, so I'll get some food down there, probably, and walk to the post office somewhere between 12.45 and 1.30 and get my pen, my other pen, which I guess I'll surprise you with next week. So what do we have here? Well, we have... Um, this is actually, what I went to Bismarck with was more than this. This is what I went to Bismarck with. Plus I had uh, a dollar pen, a uh, Tulip Twist, and a Pilot Custom, or Pilot Custom 823 that uh, all were emptied out during this week. So this is a Sailor Standard, I think. Platinum 3776, a... Uh, Conklin Word Gauge, wow. Um, Lamy 2000, broad, uh, Platinum 3776, and now I've added yet another Platinum 3776 to my world. And while I was in Bismarck, I, I stopped in Staples, because somebody asked me if you could buy uh, fountain pen ink at Staples, so I said, hey, I'm in Bismarck next week, I will find out for you. And uh, turns out, no, they don't have bottled ink at Bismarck Staples, but they have a whole shelf of Pilot Metropolitans, uh, some kind of a Schaefer, these 
Parker Jotter fountain pens, which I had I've never seen a Parker Jotter fountain pen before, so that was exciting. Uh, and there was one other type. Oh, a pen tell of some kind. Oh, and, and of course your cross pens. So I bought one. I mean, it was the price of a Pilot Metropolitan. It's not like I spent a lot of money. I do promise not to buy any pens this summer. This was already planned. So the pen that's waiting in my po in uh, my post office box, I actually is one. Uh, I broke my rules already. But in fairness, my plan with that was I'm going to be uh, by. Um, I used the money I'm making from running the ads on this channel. I actually figured out how to do it, and uh, I've got the money coming in now. So let's start with. Uh, you know, you don't make a lot on advertising, but it built up, and it was enough to pay for this pen. I don't get that every month, so next time it builds up enough, I'm going to use it for improving the looks of this channel. All right, so there is this pile, um, sailor. Let's see, today is July 29th, 2017. This is a Sailor 1911 standard. They ha they come in several sizes. This is the smaller size. And I have a zoom nib on it, which I've shown you before. Upright is like that. Lay it down, it's broad. And what, what ink is uh, Fuji Musumi. So the ink is Sailor. I don't even know if this is recording at this point, <laughs> uh, but back here you might see, I can't, I can't tell, but you might be able to see if that there are some bottles of Sailor ink. Uh, I am just going to do something crazy, see if I can have a word with this camera software. Trouble is the iPad's getting old, and I have read that this software is glitchy anyway. Luckily, it was free software that came with the camera. All right, moving right along. This guy is my uh, Platinum 3776. Um, I showed you I was doing some sketch noting. This has a music nib. Whoops. So this is awesome for arrows. And this is Lamy Black Ink. Oh, and no response to the... Uh, lovely. This is the Conklin Word Gauge. It turned out I haven't been using this pen very much. I may be connected to the camera again, possibly. Oh, there's no response from the camera. So it's a medium. And the ink is Kyoiro Gion's Cobblestones. One of my viewers was upset with me for uh, an old review I did actually about uh, Japanese Fude nib. Uh, told me I wasn't qualified to review it, but I want to reassure you with all these pens I have sent in enough proof of purchase to the pen reviewers board to get my license to review pens I also got a decoder ring with it So this is Lamy 2000 Broad The ink in it is Kyonuto left over from a review that I haven't uploaded yet Kyonuto Nure Biro. The Iro part of the name it means color in Japanese. I think I'm too close because I can see with that camera. All right. The all week the the Pilot Custom 823 was my writer pen, but uh, this had to turn into it. Platinum. Um, 
and it's a soft fine nib and the ink is platinum which I don't even know why I put it in this pen I guess I just wanted to see if I could platinum carbon black which is kind of bleedy um, noodlers black is a lot better behaved on lower quality paper even the Lamy black was bleeding a little bit this is my Shung Yo another platinum 3776 that is a wonderful nib the C is their double broad I put a sample in this one so it's an iron gall ink it's a platinum classic oh uh, shoot what's it called lavender black I think I guess I don't remember for sure but I'm pretty sure that's right so you can probably see that it's darkening a bit that is a very wet nib one of my complaints about this this music nib has been that it's a little bit dry for my tastes uh, and I'm sorry if you heard that I just realized I'm setting all my pens beside the microphone and it's probably transmitting right through the table into the microphone uh, the pilot or sorry Parker Jotter is nothing too exciting I was just excited to see it for sale and it, there's a little M which you can't read on the feed and the ink in it is Parker Quink it's a cartridge sorry right, now I have a somebody I am sending a pen to it's one of the ones I restored I'm going to fill it and do a review on it this is a darned if I remember what it's called servo pen from Boston Massachusetts it's one of the ones I was sent and given the opportunity to restore so I of course I had to put a new sack in it here the nib seems tiny for the pen but it is a, a small pen it's a pocket sized pen and the, the feed is tiny tiny wow um, but I did a bunch of cleaning on it uh, and I, in fact, I even did something I don't normally do, which was uh, use... Oh, I can see I need to take a toothbrush right there. So, more cleaning yet to come. But anyway, I uh, did some cleaning on it, resacked it. The spring seemed fine. So, uh, let's say we fill it up with a sample that somebody recommended. Um, do you mean Onyx? So, we'll lay this on its side. <laughs> There's... One of my air conditioners. And I don't really have a tissue over here. We'll just do our best. And I'm not going to try and get a full fill, but I sure did get ink all over the place. So now I actually am going to go grab a tissue because I kind of wish I'd got grabbed one. Oh, and I just got it on my finger. Oh, that's dandy. And while I'm doing that, I'm just going to reset all this video equipment. So, so I having all kinds of camera trouble. So what I'm going to do now is just do a little bit of writing with this pen I just inked up so it's a small little ring top uh, you know for whoops sorry little fella so for comparison it's slightly longer than a Caveco Sport sorry turn it this way They're slightly longer than a Caveco Sport so it can post it, it's got a nice chaste whatever on it so this is a servo and check that out I 
I'll find out later if the microphone picked that up. A little scratchy, but you'll get that with a vintage pen. And uh, you, you can see my little disaster in filling it up without a tissue nearby. Oh, yeah, it's in the threads, too. Wow. Well, that pen will definitely need a thorough clean before I send it on, but I, I will be doing a review of it. Uh, it won't get the full two fills and so on before I review it, but whatever. All right, so I uh, said I'd, I was taking some classes and I was going to do something different. So here's what's going to happen. I, uh, my finger is caught in the, all right, I am going to turn on a little program here called Camtasia. So, hello, that, that's a screen capture of uh, what's actually recording everything. But, uh, oops, that's, you're not ready for that yet. So what I'm going to do, let me quick switch back to this, to the, so I lay everything correctly. I seem to have some pens over here. I seem to have, let's see, what are you? You're a Caveco V14S from the 1960s. And who's your friend? I've reviewed this one. This one I haven't reviewed yet, but I want to. This is an awesome pen. You're going to notice they all have metal caps because for video, it's going to work better. This is a Senator uh, from the 1970s. I don't know the exact name of it. That's one of the reasons you haven't seen a review for it. Now, as part of this class I'm taking, doggone, where'd I put it? So this is something you've never seen on a fountain pen video before. This is what's called a makey-makey. This is something I was given as part of one of my classes. They were designed by some people at MIT. You can see some interesting videos. Um, thousands of possibilities. Extended usage may result in creative confidence. I mean, let's be creative. Uh, I'll show you what I'm doing with the fountain pens with this, and then I will tell you what I would like to do with kids with this. And I haven't quite figured out a good academic lesson for the level I teach, but doggone if this thing isn't a lot of fun. <laughs> so it may be for one of those days when uh, shortened class period or whatever, I just need to fill a few minutes. So this end is a USB. It plugs in here because the makey makey, it's just this. It's all it is. I'm going to plug the other end into my computer. So I have two USBs on my computer. Uh, so much stuff. Oh, I can't see the USB around my iPad, which is now working. <laughs> Okay, and then I have a whole mess of wires here, so I'm going to just grab two wires. Because I want to play the drums. I want to use these pens as drums. So I need three wires to do this. I'll just lay the others aside for now, because I'll need them eventually. Uh, let's see, one of the wires is called Earth. It's my ground. So I'm putting it there, and then I need, let's see, I'm going to cheat, you'll see what I'm doing here, maybe, I guess I'm <laughs> I've got so much video stuff, holy cow, so I need a space bar and a left arrow key, so let's make this pen. <clears throat> Now I gotta switch back so I remember so I know what you're seeing. Let's make this pen be the left arrow key. I am being gentle. Um, Stephen Brown, Matt Armstrong, if you ever watch my channels, ground me out pens. I promise I'm being careful not to scratch these little guys. Alright, so hooked up. Let's see what happens. Uh, for those of you who are into like this idea make sure you ground yourself so we're getting some sound I think let me turn uh, ah to the right software I have so much software running it's ridiculous okay I want 
that's on okay I want to go to Chrome so what happens if they touch hmm. apparently not much kind of conduction now if I'm not holding this nothing happens All right, so that's kind of fun, but you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking I brought a bunch of pens over here. They need to see some use, and I can't remember if I need all these, but whatever. So let's let's add into this. Remember, this guy is whatever he is. Um, so now that you know the secret, let me just make sure everything is presenting. Okay. So I need a... Let's see, this one is the arrow... I need an up arrow pen. So we use a Waterman's Tape Right, which is a Canadian version of the Waterman's Tape Right. I did this in class actually with fountain pens, which is how I got this inspiration. Um, but uh, it was just whatever I had with me. Uh, I found out the, the Platinum 3776 does not work. This is, what is this? Wing Sung. Okay, we'll use my Wing Sung 2, what is it, 233, 232, 233, Wing Sung 233 as my uh, left arrow, right arrow, whatever direction that is. Uh, we'll use my East German Marquant as my down arrow. That one should be a good one because it's all metal. And I guess I don't need to use my uh, Aurora 88 or my Parker 51. Whoops. I must have. Okay. Okay. I'm wonder, I, was wonder, I was wondering how that happened. I, the, the ground was on my leg and I'm wearing shorts. So. <laughs> oh my God. This is fun. All right. So <laughs> let's see here. Let's, let me make sure you can see everything. Um, like I said, I don't think Stephen Brown or Matt Armstrong would ever do this as a fountain pen video. Um, you have to come to my channel for something like this. All right. Oh, I have to actually have the right window open. Let's make a better contact here. If you do this, all right, now let's play some music. So I messed it up, but good enough. I'm not a piano player. Now, what else could I do with this? How about a game? So, press S to start. I don't know what the object of this game is. I guess the coin? Woo! <laughs> Uh-oh. Marcon's not doing anything because the cord fell off. Oh. Apparently it doesn't do anything. Woo! Squish the mushroom! Yeah! Okay. There, <laughs> yeah, good enough.
So, if you can't tell, I'm a child. <laughs> I'm not even into video games, but uh, if I can do this, I, I, I could be talked into it. So, I, I have this vision of, like, holding this and having... Because you can do, play people, you can hook these into Play-Doh, you can hook them up to fruit. You know, have one kid hold this controller, this wire, have another kid hold this wire. And then they hold out their hands, and I could do the bongo drums in their hands. And then get some more kids to come up, and we'll do the piano thing. And then I, I could use kids as a game controller. I think that would be kind of fun for a day when, there's, when I need a, a filler. And uh, there's programming you can do with it. I want to research the possibilities. Like, like I said, I was given this. Uh, I want to look into what I could do with it educationally. Because honestly, the activity we did, other than the wiring and the need to ground, wasn't that educational. So, uh, yeah. I, anyway, something kind of fun. A toy um, that I may be able to make some use of. I, I have this idea... You, you can uh, do some con um, programming with it. There's all kinds of connections on the back if you really get into this. So I see potential. And it may not happen this year, but I've got this exotic STEM class that, hey, we may have to do a quarter or a semester of computer programming or something with it. So we'll see. So anyway, hope that was interesting. I guarantee you haven't seen that on another fountain pen channel, but you probably will soon because everybody will want to do this. So I thank you for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.